You sent for me. Yes, I did. <laughs> we have something to show you outside. Something? Yes, <laughs> something. That's cool. <laughs> You complained that your car was giving you trouble last week. I pretended as if I didn't hear you. I was only waiting for this day to give you a little surprise of a ride. <laughs> I don't get it, Father. Well, what it means is that this new ride is for you. Just to say happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh my God. Daddy, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, no, thank you. Oh, I can't believe this. For me? That's right. <laughs> oh my God. One more thing. Yes, Dad. You can now hold your party in this compound as you earlier requested. that my birthday party will be conducted in a very matured manner. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Girlfriend! Girlfriend! Your father is a father like no other. Imagine a brand new car for a birthday present. Gosh! This car is nothing. Going to rock it, rock it, rock it. I wish I have a father like yours. Such a generous father, you know. I swear that, babes, this car is. Babes, tonight, mm -hmm. my brother yeah, party is party. holding life and direct. <laughs> Everybody is fine. Your mom, your brother, your sister, and her friends. We are all doing great. Yet, your sister is celebrating in her birthday, and uh, we are trying everything to make sure the day is great for her. <laughs> so, how is UK and your studies? Ah, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah, your old man is doing his best and business is moving fine. <laughs> okay, uh, speak to your mom. <laughs> Michael, mom, how are you and how is school? Hope you are doing fine and doing great. <laughs> we are here. And Nigeria is cool. Yes, the boss has been faithful. Oh, really? That's good to hear. So how are they? Oh, okay. Hold on for your brother. Eh? Okay. So good. Yeah. yeah. What's up now? How is you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, you are fine. 
you are doing our best uh, school as well. Yeah, today is today. Okay, yeah, talk to you. Ah, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. My big brother. How are you? I'm fine. Yes, today is my day, bro. Guess what? Dad surprised me with a brand new car. My joy knows no bound. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm here with my friends. Tonight we'll be hosting a big birthday bash. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You did? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, bye. Hello, hello. I did it. Did you care for Well, is easy. Check, check, It's my baby. <laughs> Good, evening, Good evening. You are all welcome to this party. We have enough to drink and eat. So feel free and enjoy yourself. One more thing. Win. Winette, um, a thank you for coming envelope for all of you.
Girlfriend, you said another record. Nobody in the history of our school has done this kind of house party before. <laughs> well, exactly, my dear. The story of this group will be in the lips of every student till the next semester. Ring it again. I said till the next semester. <laughs> and those who didn't come will regret why they were not there. <laughs> <laughs> Make you flex. Mm. What's this brand? Do you like this drink? Dig it. Oh boy. <laughs> Your sister's birthday or something else. How about she groove? He did learn. He did learn. You don't know Queen. Queen always wants her things to be classic and outstanding. I'm telling Bro, you. It's really outstanding. A classy one for that matter. A ah boy, do you know what? What? Sophia is not mine. <laughs> <laughs> Bad guy. You know, I saw so both of you during the party. Hmm. Oh boy, I invited her over to come to the party. I At least she stepped in. She saw the setting, ah. everything. Ah. A boy, she bro, she trip. <laughs> Who no go melo na? And I'm on. So tell me, just, just me now. So how did you clip everything? Ah, the long thing. We danced, rock. I right? took her out for a walk, and do that normal thing. The first thing I do that the first day. Will you be mine? And she said, ah, okay, yes. <laughs> now I bust my kidney. <laughs> You don't bust my head, so I'll tell you. Oh, man. So let's toast to that now. That means um, to your 10th girlfriend. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If that should be my 10th girlfriend, at least uh, you should be 20 or 30 there about from the mistake. You didn't want. And now I can. You didn't want. And now I can. You can do okay, Kutri. I'm glad you girls have seen it from that angle. We don't have any equals amongst our students. Exactly. <laughs> That's Paul. Oh. Hello? Yes, who's this? Yes, my name is Queen Chineya Wakaka. What? How? When? What is it? You're scaring me! The vehicle conveying Doris and Co. to their houses. Okay. Some assaulted. It crashed. They all they all died. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey! 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 Oh my god. Hey! Oh my god. Oh my god. Why should this tragedy befall us? Oh, why should it? After attending my daughter's birthday, I were going back to school. Hi! What I don't understand is what could have caused such a terrible accident? As in, not even one person. One person survived it. Hi! My God. So people who were here a few hours ago, are the ones in a mortuary. Hey. Hi! I wonder how their parents will take such news. Eh? One of them, what's her name again? Doris, who's supposed to have her engagement party in the next three days. Oh, she's no more. What sort of misfortune is this? <laughs> Why would this happen on my day? Every, everything went on fire. Why did they all have to end this way, Mom? Why? Why? 
Please come over to my office at once and uh, bring the files of our Marco oil. Thank you. say that you've not sent the memo to them yet. But I've sent it, sir. As soon as the other that I sent the memo to them, I did. I did. Yet he called now to say that uh, they are still waiting for the memo. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait. I give you a corrected version of the memo I wanted you to send. Eh? What is this? There are still errors here. Are there? Huh. Mm. Thank God you didn't send it after all. So this is what you would have sent to them. Eh? I have warned you several about your carelessness the way you handle your work in this office. Huh? <laughs> okay. So you go and effect the corrections. And make sure you bring the copy for me to go through before you send it direct to the general manager of Amaco Oil. Please be very fast with it. I will, sir. Please forgive my manners. It's okay. Go and do that. Hello, Mr. James. Yeah, um, a sum of 15 million naira was mistakenly paid into your account yesterday by some of my boys. Okay, please, I want you to pay the money back to me. I'm going to send you my account details where you will pay in the money. Okay, okay, thanks so much. So how is your family? <laughs> yes, I know they are fine, I know they are fine. It's all right, thanks so much. Eh? Yeah, we'll see you during the weekend. It's okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> mm. Girls, uh -huh. let's go to the Faculty of Social Sciences. Let me flaunt my new ride. What do you girls think? Oh my god, is that what you're saying in low tone? I beg, let's go, Jare. That's what I'm saying. We need to launch this car, we need to make noise with mm -hmm. these rides. Exactly. Exactly. Babes, do you know what we have here? 
in the whole of this campus, how many cheese can burst off something of this mm -hmm. kind? Hey! No, no, no. This guy is dope, man. This is dope. The so called notorious runs girls cannot afford this kind of rights. Now let's go. Girl, this guy that died. Now let's go. This guy is dope, man. This you is dope. girls are exceptionally <laughs> on point. Babes, let's go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then go notes. Then go here. Guys, stop this thing. Okay? Stop this thing. Guy, my mind knew that trace. My mind knew that trace. You know they see me. Eh? Guy, I can't afford to fade Dr. Jonas. Guy, stop this thing. Eh? I can't afford to fade Dr. Jones Pepper again this semester, guy. Eh? This will require me to spend additional day in school and I don't want that to happen. My brother, I believe it's not a good idea to fail this course. Hi. What will I tell my father? After all the money he spent on me, now I'm going to fill a paper that will make me spend an additional year in school. Oh God. Hi. Rather than complaining, why don't you pay Dr. Jones a visit? I'm sure he has something to do. You don't understand. Guy, I've been calling this man. He is not taking my calls. He know they pick my call. You serious? He's not taking my call. I think I have something to do. Hey, hey! I think, I think I have something. Be serious now. Be serious. No, I'm serious. I'm damn serious. I know one person that will call him and he will pick at once. Are you serious? Of course. Who is that? Hey, I shot around one guy. What for you? Guy, forget this thing. Now, guy, leave this phone. More we'll talk serious matter now. Okay, fine. Her name is Winifred. Winifred? Ah, are you serious? What are you waiting for now? Call her, put her on call now, please now. Tell her, tell her to book an appointment with the man. Okay, let, let's meet today. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, let's meet in, in the afternoon or evening time. What about our evening parole? Oh, guy, leave this thing now. That one can come later. We can do that one later. Now, let me just solve okay, this thing now. Okay, okay, fine. Let me see. I know where to find her. The bad influence of a corrupt society. Remedies or solution to the problem of indiscipline. Positive parental role. Principals and staff to be more dedicated. Easy line of communication between staff and students. 
use of parent-teacher associations, good examples from political and religious leaders. Conclusion. Mm -hmm. So can you elaborate more on this bad home influence? Bad home influence. When a child is brought up very well in... That's the guy I've been telling you girls about. Which guy? The guy that just passed us now. So what about him? That's my rival in this departmental election. Oh. You mean the guy you've been talking to me about? Exactly. Honestly, I am worried. Because with the way he is going, I don't think I stand the chance of winning these departmental elections. Too bad. Exactly. You know what? I think you should put more effort in your campaign. Babe, I'm trying. Trust me. I'm trying. But he seems to be a better politician than I am. And he has this way of drawing students to himself. It's okay. Let's get back to what we're doing. I'll do something about it. I'm worried, honestly. Just by messing... It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Ah, oh, my dear. How is your husband, my brother-in-law? Hmm. That one. He is here always enjoying himself. Welcome. Thank you. And what of your husband? How is he? Chief is there. Um, that reminds me. Your heart's help that was declared missing a few months ago, has she been found? For where, my sister? As it stands now, that is my family's greatest nightmare. Because the girl's family is always coming around to make trouble. Do you know? The last time they came, it was something else. I can, ima I can imagine it. Eh? Where can that girl be? This question you asked me now is one of the questions I've been asking myself over a million times without getting the right answer. But tell me, what kind of girl was she? Does she keep bad company or has a boyfriend around? To the best of my knowledge, she is a good girl. She does not keep any bad company. She don't have a boyfriend. I mean, <laughs> what time does she have to do that? She's always busy in the house, doing one thing or the other for me. So she don't have any time to go out or mix with good or bad people. My dear, this is strange. You have really said it all. It is really strange. Yes. My God, come and help us out. Queen I know looks down on people, so what do you want from me? And that has not changed either. That you're in my car doesn't make you anybody yet. So I don't have anything to do here, I need to get out. No need. Hold on. I called you here for a reason. And what is that? My girlfriend is contesting for the president of your departmental election, of which you are also contesting. I want you to step down for her. Why? This post you want me to step down for your girlfriend, you know students are voting me. So why do you want me to step down because of your friend? It's not possible. Henry, 
I have realized that you've not been able to pay your school fees. You've not been able to buy school handouts. Even your house rent is in question. You have not been able to pay your rent. You don't even smell nice. Look, my dear. To contest for the president of an election, you need to own money. That you don't have. How do you even up to achieve this when you don't have money? This is 200,000 Naira. Step down and allow my friend go in for it. Next year you can contest. You need money. Just take this and smell nice and better your life with this. Are you taking it or not? My friend, take this money and why is it to better your life? Give him something he can never resist. Okay. Very soon he'll step down. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know you will never disappoint me. Thank you very much. Baby, I can't wait for you to become the president of your department. You know what I mean. I can't wait well, to. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy right now. Ah. Congratulations in advance. Thank Babes, you. Babes, let's go and have lunch. What will I have done without you? No, I'm gonna. Now I can eat anything I can eat now. I know I am. Now you happy. can get the school now. Yes. Ah. Whatever you people are dishing out, I'm happy to give it to them. You see, we have decided that the kingship should return to her people. And you have to wear the crown. Of Ezeoloma Kingdom. You see, the idea of bringing back the throne to our kindred has attracted several approval from different quarters. Everyone is happy with the idea. I hear that five other kindreds. I've indicated interest in the kingship race. <laughs> yes, Honorable. As a matter of fact, everyone is saying that um, the, the throne will go to the uh, Umezama people because the people backing their candidates have a lot of money. They are pumping money here and there. <laughs> they don't know who they are up against. Let me shock you. In the entire Ezaloma community and kingdom, there is nobody without sounding modest or immodest who is as rich as myself and my brother. <laughs> and this is the time to prove a point. Oba and I will single-handedly install you as the king of Ezaloma. 
without any financial support from our community. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's right. Yeah. So, Ofo, I want you to summon the meeting of our elders as soon as you get back home. Tell them about this latest development. Tell them that this man has been endorsed, approved to be the head that will wear the crown of our ancestors. <laughs> As it pleases the gods. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is 10 million naira. 5 million to SMO is your cousin. And the other 5 million to the Uno. Tell them we have a candidate that where this came from, more will stay calm. This is just a small cooler for them, okay? <laughs> and then there is another 10 million naira. Wow. Make sure that top and prominent elders in Asia Roma Kingdom get at least 1.5 million. <laughs> and there's another 5 million. You people should use it, 1.5 million, to run around, settle this matter, or they will come back by month end. And then the other 1.5, you share it amongst you and the elders of our old kindred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chief, you have. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I can say that with this, and with all sincerity, uh, the throne, is, is as good as given to us. <laughs> well, uh, to complement what my brother has done, I will make available to you, Chibike, 10 million naira to lay the foundation of your palace. Another 10 million naira to enable you to build up the structure to the Intel level. I will buy you a brand new chip, Tiara. I want you to live to a standard and status of what you are going to be. I will also make available to you five million naira for you to settle some deals. I want the communities around us to know that the men behind you are great men. Yes. Thank you, 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 thank you so much. I don't know how to express my happiness. You see, um, I know that uh, we have a lot of uh, prosperous and opulent young men in this our community, but you decided to choose me. I promise not to disappoint you. I promise to rule like King Solomon of the Holy Bible. I'm not going to disappoint you, I promise. <laughs> yes, that's, that's very good. So that's not see, in my heart. The, the moment. You came into my mind. Yes. I knew you are the right candidate for this position. Okay. You see, your late father, Mazidika, yes. was a great man. Yes, and he I was. Can see, I can see the vibrancy yes. of the life he lived in you. Yes, like a father, like son. <laughs> That's correct. Yes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so what you do is you come over to my house tomorrow. I'll make you more available. I'll do that. <laughs> as early as possible, I'm going to be there. <laughs> Before the force come through. Excellent home training. You can say that again. Okay. In fact, our son Mike made a perfect choice in her. Ah. I only wished he had married her 
before traveling overseas for his studies. Why did you say that, my husband? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you know your son. You know Mike. You know Mike has a mind of his own. I just pray he doesn't come back one day after his studies with another girl in this house. Never. <laughs> he truly loves her just like he loves him. Once Mike comes back, of course, you go ahead and marry her. Yeah, that is my prayers for them. Yes. Because that girl is every man's dream of a daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Though she is a banker, yeah. yet she makes her time, comes to our house every weekend to help in the house chores. Ah, I love Sandra so very much. I love that girl. She is ah. very, very wonderful. Oh, she is. She is. Hi. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Thank you, my Come sister. sister. <laughs> uh, JJ, get out the things in the trunk of the car. <laughs> okay, sir. Can we go? Yes. father taught me that the man that deserves to be called a rich man is that fellow who derives joy in making sure that his little resources is shared by those that do not have. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so my greatest joy is making sure that places like this and children of this kind are taken care of. You see, I've known you for the past six years. You have been like this, getting even more preacher and stronger all day. <laughs> <laughs> Give us, the Bible says, never lack. That's yeah. right. And also, blessed is the hand that gives and the hand that receives. Um, we heard that you people now have a place for old people here. Mm -hmm. um, yes, um, you see, apart from those kids who have no parents to take care of them, so we we'll have old people who don't also have someone to look after them. So we have decided to provide a place for them so that they can be kept and take care of. Mm, mm, that's, that's, that's very good. <laughs> so we would like to contribute to their welfare as well. Yes, mm -hmm. we we'll love to see them before we go. In the meantime, um, yeah. There is a check of five million naira for the kids and the old people. Chifokaka, each time you visit us here, you make sure you leave us speechless with your kind of donations. Chief, you have done it again. In fact, get up, let me pray for you and your family. sumptuous meals. I am tempted to compare your cooking with my wife's. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Honorable. I appreciate it. Talking about who's the better cook between my mom and Auntie Joyce, it's difficult to judge. They are both excellent cooks. In fact, their food tastes alike. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know, I was about to say the same thing. You're always about to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's good to know that we have been working to give you the whole mouth more dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again and again and again, my dear. <laughs> my brother, mm. you made mention of going to the orphanage. Did you go? Yes, yes. You know, those are the kind of guest jobs I love to get into. We just came back a few hours ago before you joined us for the slot. <laughs> I'm encouraged by the things you do. Yeah. In fact, you are showing the light. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see it again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mrs. Obi, how many containers of the chemical did you approve to be supplied? Sir, it is meant to be 150 containers of chemicals. But because of our last experience, where we had remnants, which eventually got spoiled, we lost about five point something million. And I don't want that to repeat itself again. So I ordered 120 containers of chemical. If need be for more, I will order for it. I see. Uh, but there were complaints about the last consignment of fake chemicals. What efforts are you doing to make sure that it does not repeat itself again? because it is very wrong for us to spoil the market we have gained with such fake chemicals. This time they are giving us guarantee. In fact, some sort of compensation for the ones our customers complaint that are fake. Okay, okay, that's, that's, that's a good deal. Uh, Mr. Jai? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, how much are we expecting from uh, oil palm exportation so far? You know, it's about six months the deal was supplied. Uh, yes, sir. We, we had a discussion over that yesterday. Yes. We are expecting about $1.5 million from the Rango. $1.5 million? Yes, sir. I thought it's more than that. Yes, it would have been, but um, we have a case of perished goods. Yes, some, some perished along the way. I see. Have you prepared your report on that? I was working on it before you called for this meeting, sir. It's all right. Now, before the close of the day, I want to have the report, okay? Right. Uh, that will be all for now. All so right. that I can go to some of these reports that are on my table. All right. right. You are welcome. Have a nice day, Thank you, sir. I am leaving. Leaving? Leaving to where? Take heart. Be strong. I am going to the land of no return. Land of no return?
Welcome home. Your father has left us. He's gone and left me here. It's all right, mother. Stop crying. Huh? You've cried enough. If if tears if tears could bring father back, believe me, all of us will be crying. You're right. right. I believe God knows why. God gives and He takes. Dad, He has given me a big blow. That's well, Mother. Death will never have any power over us anymore. Amen. Hmm? Amen. It's all right, Mother. It's all right. Welcome, sir. Uh huh. Mother, who is she? Oh, her name is Simma. My house help. When your brother and your sister are back to school, she is the only one that assists me with house chores. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Alright. Mother, let's go inside. Jay, mm -hmm. let's get the things from the truck. Okay. Welcome. States. He was healthy and sound before we went to bed that night. I woke up because of the bad dream I had about him, only to find him dead beside me. Really sad, but what can we do? We cannot question God. You're right, my son. We can't question God. So, how was London before you returned? Mm. Just there, fine, fine. Um, I, I finished my master's program and I got a job. Very good job. I hope to work for about three to five years before coming back home. I didn't know I would come back this soon. That's how it has turned out to be. Uh, what about Uncle Uba and his family? Oh, they are fine. You can see them later. Oh, yes, I will. I bought some things for them. Ah. That's very good. What is your name? Well, let's, let's can eat, oh. Let's can eat. I uh, really miss your cookies. Very well. <laughs> oh, 
Mike, thanks a lot for all the things you bought for us. I'm very, very happy to receive it from you. You're welcome, Auntie. And once again, welcome back home. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, it's a very big welcome after many, many years of uh, travel. Oh, yes. Did you say you started working after your master's degree? Yes, yes, I did that. Um, I, I actually planned to work for a while, for some good time before coming back to Nigeria. I worked for eight months, and then I heard the sad news of my father's death, unfortunately. Uh, the unfortunately, uh, then turns turned out this way. Um, well, everything happens for a reason, but I want to let you know your father was a lion, a great man. He fought to the last. And he will be buried in Grand Star, that I assure you. Um, when I come over to the house, there will be a lot to talk about. As if he knew what was going to happen, he let me into certain things which I'll tell you when I come over. But um, be rest assured, we will not uh, do anything to compromise. Um, that's it. Okay. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take our leave now. Uh, you won't wait for some food? Uh, that would be nice, but I have a lot of things I want to give. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mike. Eh? Bye. All right, I'll walk you. Okay, Mike, I'm going to do sent me to the UK to study. You told me that you'll be waiting for me to come back home when I'm done. So you would give me a grand welcome home party. I'm back, Father. And instead of planning the party, fortunately, I'm planning your funeral. How was your visit to your uncle's place? Mother, I didn't, I didn't even know. I didn't know you were coming here. Oh, my, my visit was fine. Uncle Ba and his wife, they were happy to see me. Yeah, they also appreciated the things I bought for them. So what did he say about the arrangements for your father's funeral? He said everything is under control. But he will still be here tomorrow to brief me on a few other things. So, let me show you something, okay? So far, so good. You have done well. Thank you. Whatever has to be done from now has to be done in the village. On Thursday, his body will move to the village. On Friday, he will be laid in state. And on Saturday, he will be committed to Mother Earth. Oh, my God. 
Thank you very much, Uncle. Everything will be done just as you have said. Now you have assumed your rightful position as the man of the house. In the absence of your father, you have to take charge. Take charge as you would have done if your father was around. After the funeral, there are some things you have to do before you take your position as headship and take over his legacies and property before you can run his company. But I will come to that. But for now, let me take my leave. You have a blessed day and uh, take care of your mother and your siblings. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. that even after I left, you guys have been getting along pretty well. Hmm. Your mother is like my second mother. She loves me so much and I love her too. <laughs> She's a very nice woman. I usually come to stay with her every weekend before I got transferred to this Ikeja branch where I am now. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you more. I missed you so much. <laughs> so, tell me mm -hmm. what has been happening. Ah, uh, nothing much. A lot of women have been coming to me. Ah, you know, right? no there, way. Guys. I <laughs> no have way. a wife. <laughs> You know, this is a position I hope to occupy in the next 10 years, but hey, look at me. Oh, well, that's life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's life. <laughs> By the way, when did you get back into the country? Well, I, I flew in last night. Last yeah. night? Yeah, really? last night. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you, man, huh? Listen, I'm very sorry I missed your father's funeral. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But I had to something else. Oh, it was grand. Yeah. <laughs> it was something was awesome. You know, my, my father was a great man. So his funeral was nothing short of greatness, befitting. Wow, wow, wow. I trust you guys, I trust you guys, huh? 